So YouTube, team keep it clean. Y'all have a seat. Let us relax. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, but what's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. I hope y'all are good. Um, last night, especially amongst Ravens fans on Ravens Twitter, I just saw so much ugly. I saw a lot of ugly. I saw a lot of disgusting things. And it was just like, man, like, come on now, man. It just, yeah, it was gross. Um, but anyway, to get straight into it, uh, there was a presser today. John Harbaugh started it off, and he asked, he was asked the question that we all had on our minds, like, what's going on with Rashad Bateman? What's the status of Rashad Bateman? How is Rashad Bateman? And he answered, he has a soft tissue injury. I was like, okay, cool. How long is he going to be out? Well, he's going to be out for, for weeks, for a couple of weeks. I don't know how many weeks, but he's going to be out for weeks. Not, not a month, but for weeks. And that really... It's very murky. And again, y'all remember how Harbaugh is with the injuries. You know, ever, ever since Bashar Perryman, Harbaugh said, nope, I ain't commenting on no injuries. I'm not giving you no detailed updates on nobody's injury. I'm not dealing with it because when, when it came to Bashar Perryman, and it's something that I said back then too, I feel like with Bashar Perryman, I feel like he was almost set up for failure from the jump. Because with John Harbaugh, he was like, oh, his injury is week to week. So he set that expectation for Bashar Perryman. But then the injury be, ended up being a lot longer than just week to week. So that, let, that started having fans turn on Bashar Perryman from jump. From jump. And then for, it just, it just set, set things off in a really bad way. And it's a shame because I've seen a lot of fans doing the same thing with Rashad Bateman. I've seen fans calling him a bust. I've seen fans calling him Bashar Perryman 2.0. I've seen fans calling him sorry. I've seen fans calling him this and that. And it's like, man, we we haven't even seen this guy catch a pass in the regular season yet. And y'all are already doing it. We're not even in the regular season. And y'all are already doing this? Already? Really? And it's just, it's a shame. But we should be used to this by now. Because the same thing Happened with Hollywood when he had his injury. He didn't really get to go through training camp like that. And then what did he do in week one? Oh, he set Miami on fire. And not saying that Rashad Bateman is going to do that. Hopefully he does that. And hopefully he even plays week one. But let's just stop this, this cringeworthiness attitude that a lot of fans have to where they're just thinking about themselves. They just have this where, where they, it's like, hey. If I don't get to see this particular player when I want to see this particular player, then that player sucks. He's terrible. Let's not do that because that's not what it is. But anyway, with Rashad Bateman, he is not Rashad Perryman 2.0. He is Rashad Bateman 1.0. So he will have his opportunity to prove himself when he does take the field, whenever that may be. Hopefully it's sooner rather than later, and but also hopefully at the same time they don't rush him. Hopefully they don't rush him. I remember when we drafted Hollywood Brown and he was injured. And I, um, I said the same. I don't think if the, the injuries are, they're obviously not the same injury, but I don't think they're even on the same level. But what I said with Hollywood, I said, hey, you know what? Since he could barely practice, he's hurt. I said, Raven should put him on PUP for the first six weeks. Put him on the, the pup list and then so he, we can have him for the long haul. But the Ravens were like, no, they had him ready week one and he did his thing. Now, he did have to take some plays off. He had to take, he, he would usually get like every Friday off of practice, but they got through it. And he got healthy as the season went along, and he did his thing. Um, so with Rashad Bateman, you know they are going to make a very, very, very careful decisions uh, with him moving forward. Uh, John Harbaugh was also asked, is he going to be ready week one? Is Rashad Bateman going to be ready to play when the Ravens play the Raiders on Monday night football for the world to see? It's going to be the last game of week one. And I know Ravens fans are going to be going crazy all week one. First, you got the Thursday night game. I believe it's the Bucks and the Cowboys. Shout out to Hard Knocks. And then you got all the, uh, the Sunday games, the Sunday morning games, and then the Sunday uh, afternoon games and the Sunday night game. And then and, and Ravens fans gonna be like, oh, we love that football's back in regular season football at that, but oh, we gotta keep waiting. Then Monday night's gonna roll around. But will Rashad Bateman play in that game? Harbaugh was extremely non-committal about that. He even turned into Petty Harbaugh a little bit too. Um, and he said, I know, I'm. Mm -mm. He said, I'm not giving y'all that. But what it really sounded like, 
It sounds like he doesn't know. It sounds like he doesn't know. It sounds like things are just really, really up in the air. Especially from the uh, what he said about Rashad Bateman, since he said he's gonna miss he's gonna miss weeks. He didn't say how many weeks. He said he's gonna miss weeks though. He's gonna miss weeks. Not not a month, but weeks. So could it be one week? Could it be two weeks? Could it be three weeks? Could it be three weeks and six days? Since usually four weeks is about a month. But we'll see. So um anyway, moving on. In the presser, it also featured there was Bobby Ingram, who was the tight ends coach. Um, and there was also uh co cap, Anthony Levine. Now, my respect for Anthony Levine, it went up a lot. I already had respect for him, but I got even more uh after last night. Because y'all, of course, I know y'all saw the whole thing uh on Twitter from the fan that obviously wasn't the biggest fan of Anthony Levine. And my, my thing with that is we're not all going to be fans of every single player on the Ravens or be fans of every single player on every single team. And that's not an issue. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. If you're not the biggest fan of a player, no problem. But where, where I didn't agree was where th there doesn't have to be any disrespect. It doesn't have to be any disrespect towards the player. And the way that uh, Anthony Levine handled it, I respected that a lot. He could have lashed out at the fan. He could have called him this, that, and the third. He could have said so many things. But he kept it peaceful. He kept it positive. And that was it. That was it. We got to understand that NFL players, their jobs, like, it, it's crazy. Because if you think about it, no matter what you do, if your job was on public display for everybody to see every single day, that adds a lot of pressure to whatever it is that you do. A lot of pressure. And if somebody's talking about you sideways or something, then you have the right to go back, at, at least in my opinion. You have the right to go back at them. They talking about you sideways and whatnot. They talking about your work. And especially if you're successful in what you've been doing. But Anthony Levine, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. And these football players, it's tough. It's tough. And I, and I know I, I've, I've talked about this before and I've heard somebody say, oh, well, they, they shouldn't do it. If they don't want to be in a public eye, they shouldn't do it. Well, that's their job. Every job got his responsibilities and, and different things that come along with it. But with them, like literally everything that they do, everything that they do is on public display. When they're having a great day at work, the world knows. The world gets to see it because it happens during the game. If they're having a terrible day at work, the world gets to see it because it's happening during the game. How much they get paid, the world knows that. So everybody's pocket watching. You ain't even got to try. You can go on Spot Track. You can Google it. You can do so much stuff to see how much they get paid. And it's just like with, with, with that, it, that, again, that adds so much pressure, in my opinion, to these players. So shout out to Anthony Levine for the way uh, that he handled that fan. Um, so that was that. Now, something else. Um, Jeff Zrebeck talked about it today uh, with just the injuries, man. Injuries, 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 injuries. We, of course, talked about Rashad Bateman earlier. Uh, there's Miles Boykin. Um, there's Hollywood Brown. Ben Cleveland. He said Ben Cleveland, he left practice today. Um, he was, <coughs> excuse me, he was only there for a short amount of time. He left. Hopefully, he's straight. We did get um, did get Bradley Bozeman back, man. So that was good. Uh, and Ronnie Stanley, they said he was he wasn't in pass today. He was off to the side. So, but it's, it's expected. Again, Ronnie Stanley, he's gonna be eased back in, eased back in slowly. So no problem with that. But anyway, I uh, said uh, Adafe away. He didn't practice today. Now with him, I'm not sure if that's did, didn't he leave yesterday? Ah. Oh. I can't. I, th I think he did. I don't remember off the top of my head, though. But anyway, um, Dalen Hayes said that he limped to the locker room in practice. So hopefully he was just a little bit sore. Hopefully just a little tiny bit banged up. And maybe with a rest, relaxation day uh, for obviously the rest of today and maybe tomorrow, then he'll be back on Friday if they have practice on Friday. Because uh, I know they got the game coming up uh, on Saturday. Um, so I'm not sure how that schedule is going to be. Um, but... It's a shame. They said they had 21 players not practicing today. 
21, 21 players not practicing. Right now you have 90 men on your roster, and you have 21 players not practicing. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. And you know what? What's crazy is that uh, we were hearing t today so much about all the injuries and whatnot. I forgot that Lamar Jackson was even out there. <laughs> I really did. Um, but, yeah, man, it's real quick. One last thing before we get out of here. Ravens fans, uh, make sure you uh, you realize that the season has not started yet. Because I know Ravens fans, they they get upset and whatnot. They get frustrated. And there's nothing wrong with being frustrated. Nothing wrong with getting upset or whatnot. But try to put everything into perspective. It's a lot of Ravens fans uh, because they've seen a, uh, a good amount of injuries. Um, none season ending, which is great. Um, but they've seen a significant amount of injuries to different players on the team. So they're like, oh, man, our season is done. Oh, man, that's it. Oh, man, get ready for 2022. Oh, and it's like, what? We, <laughs> we haven't even made it to week one of the preseason. And there's so many people ready to give up on the regular season. That just, that doesn't make any sense to me. That's just wild. Um, so just take a deep breath. And I mean, not even just pertaining to football. This is just in life, too. Sometimes we just got to step back and <sighs> take a deep breath. Because we all need that break from whatever it is that you do. Uh, and again, back to the whole Anthony Levine thing. Just when, before you're about to go disrespect somebody about whatever it is that they do, especially if it's in the public eye, just imagine if everything that you did, every part of your job was on public display. Imagine that. If every part of your job was on public display. So when you had good days and you had bad days, everybody got to see it. Imagine that. And try to put yourself in somebody else's shoes before you go disrespecting them. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for being uh, so respectful here because it, it goes a long way um, and it's contagious. Respect is contagious. For some people, you got to rub them a little extra because they don't get it right away, but it can be contagious. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all and I will see you all later. We out.